Hello. Recently I got really lucky because I was able to get this miraculous device just for $1.25. It comes from eBay and the price included shipping from China. This is a portable car fuel saver, oil saver and economizer. It saves you 20% or more gas. It gives you better acceleration and more horsepower and also longer better life and cleaner emissions. So let's see how this device can do it. So you just take this miraculous device, plug it into your cigarette lighter socket of your car and it will magically save your fuel, oil, battery, environment and also give your car more power. So I was really interested how does it work and how it's possible. So let's plug it into 12 volts. And here I have a 12 volt power supply. It's okay. And let's plug it in. The tip is always positive in a cigarette lighter socket. It does nothing. And now it lights up. It seems that only one of those two contacts is actually connected. But okay. So when I plug it into 12 volts, it lights up. And when I unplug it, the light slowly disappears. So this is a blue indicator LED. Or not actually blue, this is a white LED behind a blue plexiglass. And it seems to contain some capacitor because it goes out slowly. And what else can it contain? And how much does it draw? About 4.7 milliamps. It's called a fuel shark, so maybe it is eating your fuel like a shark, I don't know. Let's see what's inside. How do I open it up? Can I remove this one? Yeah. There's an LED. I can see a white phosphorus in it, so it's a white LED. Let's check it once more. Yeah, that's a white LED. And let's try to open it up. Does this one screw? No, it just pressed in. So there's the tape and a spring. Yeah, there is a screw in it. Ah, a fuse. A really big one. It is a fast 2 amp fuse. Rated 250 volts. That's nice. It looks safe. It has a fuse. So let's continue. Remove the screw. And be prepared, here it comes. But how does it save the fuel? I really think it doesn't. There's just a capacitor and LED with some resistor and that's it. Let's draw a schematic of it. So that's basically just a socket, a 2 amp fuse, a capacitor, 1000 microfarads rated 25 volts, two resistors, 1k each, 1.5 mega ohm resistor for discharging and a standard white LED. So how does it save your fuel? Actually it doesn't. It's just one big fraud. Maybe this tiny capacitor is supposed to save your fuel by filtering the voltage in your car. But that's nonsense. Because the car battery works as a very very big capacitor and the capacity of this one is just negligible. And a lot of other appliances in your car also contains a lot of capacitors in parallel to the battery. And even if you connect a huge capacitor in parallel with your battery, like 1000 farads, which is million times more than this one, it is maybe going to make your car start easier, but it's not going to save your fuel. So this is just absolutely stupid. And if this tiny capacitor was able to save 20% of fuel, 
The car makers would definitely build one into your car already. Of course, your appliances in your car are loading your alternator and this alternator loads your engine and makes it uh, take a little more fuel, but this capacitor is not going to change anything on it. And I believe that the alternator contributes to only about 1 or 2 percent of fuel consumption and the rest of it is used to move your car or to idle your engine. And even if you connected a huge capacitor in parallel to your car power, it will just make the power consumption more steady, but the average will be just the same. Imagine this is the power consumption and if you connect a very big capacitor to it, you just average it. So the average power consumption is the same, the average load of your alternator is the same and the average fuel consumption is also the same. So if you want to try this out, you can. There's a fuse, so it should be safe and at least it's a nice flashlight. But what do you guys think about this? So this is Diet Gone Wild and see you in my next videos.